why don't you guess why I'm so happy? Mm. Poker game with the girls? No. Ooh. Tupperware party? That sure would be something, but no. Mm -hmm. New dress. This has never happened, darling. Oh, well, spill the beans. Mickey Moncton is coming to the club? Oh, your club? Well, look at that. Isn't it just superb? Who's Mickey Moncton? Oh, for fricking sake, Eddie. Straight jacket love? Now, what the heck are you talking about? There's no need to cuss. Mickey Moncton is a songwriter. He sings Straight Jacket Love. It's our favorite song. Oh. We danced to that song the day we met. Anyway, Jerry Kane, who runs the club, he heard I have a knack for decorating, so I'm going to polish up the joint for when it comes. Oh. Like a decorating job. Job? <laughs> Well, what do you need a job for? Uh, they Eddie. already have you serving, and they ask to... It's extra money, Eddie, and God knows we need it. Oh, is that how it is? That's not what I... You're the breadwinner now, huh? Well, that's not what I... I'm sorry. I found your notebook. Darling, I have the biggest headache. Uh, thank you, by the way. Well, hi there, Mr. Bright. Denver, please. Hello, Mrs. Bright. Swell to meet you. Hello, uh... uh... This is Denver. He's an intern at the lab. More of an assistant, but I'll let Mr. Bright figure out the titles. My, you look wonderful today, Mrs. Bright. I just got a decorating job at the club, uh, so I just said... Sadly... Denver? Sure. Here's the briefing on the patients. Oh, we don't have this one. Um... There's been changes. Changes. We're taking numbers 18 through 30 instead. Uh, well, what does that mean for us financially? Oh, we're getting cut down a bit. New direction. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Well, the times they are a changing, Mr. Bright. Yeah, don't I know it? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> Denver, I'm sure we'll be fine. I hear you're pretty sharp. Sure, Mr. Bright. Uh, call me Eddie. Swell. What kind of tests are you doing this time, Eddie? Troops from the war. American soldiers traumatized after combat. We call it shell shock. Ooh, sounds interesting. Hardly. Imagine, if you will, soldiers who, enwrapped in the terrors of war, mm. battling our enemy, mm -hmm. filthy cracks, and lost all sense of reality. Eddie's father was in the first war. How did he go? Oh, he didn't die. He uh, just. Oh, all right. He doesn't want to know about me. Sure, I do. Eddie has experience with soldiers, is all. I'm proud just as long as the work doesn't rub off on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll be on my way. This Swiss been in touch with you yet? Pardon? Uh, Mr. LaRoche contacted the lab a few days ago, part of the new direction. Swiss? Very interested in your work, Mr. Bright. Ah, Eddie, don't Swiss fellows speak German? Is that true? All I know is he's a sharp cookie when it comes to psychiatry. Well, just as long as he's not German. <laughs> Switzerland sounds like such a sweet place. So neutral. By the way, congrats on the baby, Mrs. Bright. Given your past, I'm sure it must feel swell bringing a child into the world. My past? You know, your mother and all. Well, I'll see you at the lab, Mr. Bright. <laughs> <laughs> How did he know about my mother? Do you talk about it like I'm some kind of lab mouse? Barry, will you calm down? 